In this video, we're going to have a look at the infamous Jared from Subway MEV bot that's sandwiching people. So at its peak, uh, Jared from Subway was making like 50 ETH every hour, every two hours. And right now the market's a little bit down. There are not so many meme coins. So he actually made $1.4 million in the last 30 days. And I'm going to show you how you can analyze his transactions and look into what he's doing exactly. So uh, his contract is public. I'm going to share the link, of course, down below in the description if you want to have a look at that. Uh, here you, you are looking actually at EigenFee. This is probably the best platform when it comes to analyzing different MEV, so maximum extractable value. So all the things related to how you arrange blocks to make money, going with sandwiching, so if when you buy a token before someone else and sell just right after he bought uh, liquidation. So if you liquidate bad debts on like Ava and other platforms, and then uh, a bunch of things related to general arbitrage between different exchanges to make money uh, from the difference in prices. Here, I'm looking directly at the portfolio of Jared from uh, Subway. And this is the, the profit, as you can see, you can also have a look at the last seven days uh, being 230K. So around there, uh, around a quarter million dollars per week. Uh, that's his average here. And he makes around 20,000 transactions in seven days. And the total cost is $1.5 million. So he has like um, around 15% of the 15% uh, profit. So uh, as you can see here uh, on, on the total amount um, and he makes the transactions all the time. There's also a bunch of interesting statistics here of what kind of the uh, tokens he's trading mostly uh, and there's basically everything and he's going between different different coins. So if you were to analyze what Jared is doing, then basically going here uh, on EigenFee and then going through some of the transactions, you can just click directly and you'll be taken to a particular transaction. So for example, I have chosen one uh, to, to have a look here. Uh, this is a transaction he did a couple of days ago on August 4th. And this transaction, I'm, I'm going to read it to you so you know how to read it. Plus we're going to have a look at different places where you can also understand what he's doing. So basically he made a profit of $800 on this particular transaction, uh, which is pretty good for, for sandwiching because most of the time, especially if you look at uh, his profits, it's super small, it's below $100 most of the time. Sometimes it's also negative, he's actually losing money if he doesn't optimize for the gas or the gas is uh, wrongly calculated for what he's doing. So uh, he, he's also ma like making very small profits all the time, but he has like so many transactions that it uh, adds up to, to really big profit. So $800 profit per transaction is really, really great. This is an outlier. So what he did his was basically he started with Eve and basically uh, he he did uh, a bunch of things. He swapped that if for Thai, and then on the right, you can see that he went from, uh, he changed Thai to Rai, Rai to Dai, Dai to if again. And by swapping this just on Uniswap, he actually made uh, this uh, 0 0.4 uh, if difference. Plus on top of that, he had a little bit to buy uh, SHIB uh, W, which I guess is one of the meme coins he was he wanted to use for another transaction of his. So this transaction, even though he, he's profitable on that transaction, he uses a, a small portion of ETH uh, to on a SHIB W uh, as well to, uh, to have that for the future. Uh, also, uh, burning a little bit along the way on uni v2 so all that happened in one transaction so you can see all the balances here being uh, how it changes uh, in tie uh, if rye die sheep w so basically he ends up with more uh, if basically 0 0.4 plus a little bit of a sheep w here on the right now you have the transaction list starting with uh, tight uh, if to tie swap uh, and then a bunch of other transactions like if to write, uh, write to die, uh, and so on, as I've mentioned. So you can go through all that. Also here on the top, if you want to look directly at the Etherscan, you have all the links here that you can go through. So if I were to click on Etherscan, I basically will be taken to the directly to the transaction. And here you can see that he starts with swap uh, if for tie and then tie for rye, rye for die, die for if again, and uh, some of the if in ship. And that's like just one transaction. And as you can see, this is from Jared from Subway here. Uh, he's MEV bot. So basically he sends the data uh, from Jared from Subway to make the transaction. He interacts with his own bot. Uh, and this is how he, uh, how he does everything. And this is all the transactions here going 
uh, going through uh, within the within the one one transaction. Now uh, you can also, if you we go back here uh, for the token flow, you have a bunch of platform here where you can see everything uh, as well. So for example, Falcon and um, uh, if the X will show you also some of the token flow as well. This might be not readable, but uh, then later on you can see, for example, all the executions and everything that was happening here and what kind of functions were, were sent. This is the pure text, but similar thing is on Falcon. So if you were to go on Falcon, the same transaction, first of all, you have the graph, the similar to the, what uh, EigenFi has. Uh, so you have all those swaps here. Uh, and then you have the balance changes here as well, as well as the uh, flow of the transactions as well of all the code. So you, you see the sender, he basically just uses Jared from Subway to interact with his bot and then this, his bot is doing all the stuff. Uh, so this is, this is how it works. You can see all the, all the transactions here. Of course, uh, th this, uh, the data of the bot, the, the contract for the bot is not available publicly. You won't find it. Jared from Subway will definitely not share it with you because uh, this is how he remains competitive. So don't fall for any scams promising you that you get the MEV bot uh, because nobody, nobody is going to share that because this is like super competitive in the end. So uh, we're going to have a look at that as well. This is for everything for this transaction. But let's now go to Sandwich on the left here. You can see uh, what kind of uh, results people uh, have. So uh, as you remember, uh, Jared from Subway made over 20, basically $240,000, right, in profit. And this amounts to basically like 60, 70% of the total sandwiching volume, which means that uh, Jared from Subway on Ethereum is actually making uh, most of the money. So basically it's the best bot, the best MEV bot really is taking everything here. It's the game, a really competitive game. You, you're you basically uh, fighting with others. Uh, and that's why, uh, that's why uh, nobody will share with you what uh, he or she is doing. Uh, and you should remember that because uh, if anyone uh, wants to, for example, give you a, the, their code, the, the idea behind that is probably they really did, don't make any money on that and just want to, you know, uh, either scam you, rag you, or do something else malicious, or just give you something which is not usable at all. So this is, uh, this is everything that the leaderboard here. So let's click on sandwiching. And you can see that this is the this is Jared from Subway bought two hundred twenty eight thousand dollars of the total profit, and the next one on the list is actually making twenty uh, twenty six thousand uh, dollars. So it's ten one tenth of what Jared is making, and then you have uh, the, the long tail of everyone else. So it's really like one bot dominating the space, and everyone is trying to adapt. And of course, it won't stay like that forever because. There are more and more people entering the uh, entering this game, and this will of course diminish the profit from Jared. But there will be one particular bot who's always winning um, and has the best computations, but won't stay there for long be because of the competition. And if you see generally on uh, MEV, then this is the case for most of the uh, for for most of the MEV that you have one leader and the rest is get, le getting much less money. Uh, for, and here, for example, this is the like really great difference between the, the number one and all the rest, right? So liquidations is not really not really high on the list. Uh, so this is it for for all the discussions around the recent transactions with Jared. So Jared is still active, still doing pretty well, uh, making a million uh, dollars per month uh, in profit. Uh, so definitely the, he's still uh, the king of sandwiching. Uh, even though the meme coin season is off, uh, I guess when it comes back, he will be making much more money again. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel and follow me on Twitter as well. Uh, I tend to discuss all the recent topics there as well. Thank you and see you in the next video.